Hi everybody! Um, I came out of the cave of my room and decided to record out here because no one's home right now. But <laughs> I like, I can't get the, I guess I'll have to adjust the colors later, I don't know. But this is me in daylight, so I'm like fluorescent white. <laughs> I'm pretty white, but I don't think I'm really this fluorescent white. Maybe I am. I don't know. I never go out in the sun, so <laughs> I could be. Um, yeah, so I don't really know what to talk about. I just thought I'd make a video, and it's a nice day today um, near Portland, Oregon. And um, it's cloudy, overcast, but still bright out. And um, it's about, I don't know, like maybe 70 degrees or something. It's a nice day. And I, I can't remember what that is in um, Celsius. That must be like... I have no idea. <laughs> I'll have to do a conversion later or something. Um, yeah, uh, my parents are away and um, I'm just here by myself. I'm doing some laundry, blah blah. That's so exciting. And um, just checking my email and stuff. And I just want to say hi to you guys. Thanks for subscribing. And um, I guess I could talk about something. Um, maybe like... I guess I could do a depression video. Um, because it's rolling into that time of year when, you know, people start having more depression in the winter and fall months. And it's almost fall, so... Um, I guess I could talk about this thing called Seasonal Affective Disorder. It's also called SAD. <laughs> um, and basically what it is is people... It normally happens to people who live in, like, the normal... Nor uh, northern climates, like, you know, um, the Northern Hemisphere and probably the East Coast of the United States and the Northern States and Alaska and the... Um, Pacific Northwest probably, um, and probably like London and places like that. Um, so if you notice that um, during the winter or fall when it gets really cloudy out and there are a lot of gray days, if you notice that you're feeling sad a lot or just like really blue, kind of like maybe more depressed than usual, it might be that you have seasonal affective disorder. And basically what the treatment for that is, some people take antidepressants, but um, there's also a treatment with light therapy. There are these special light boxes you can get that have a certain kind of um, uh, light in it that mimics the, I don't know if it's the UVA or UVB rays of the sun. Um, it's not the same as a suntan booth, so you should not go to a tanning booth if because that's just bad. and. But anyway, you should not go to a tanning booth to relieve your um, seasonal affective disorder. There are these light boxes that you sit in front of, and they can relieve your seasonal affective disorder. My mom actually has one, because I tried that when I was really depressed. I thought, well, maybe I have that or something, but that didn't work at all for me. <laughs> but my mom was feeling a bit depressed. Um, it's 1.30. Oh, it's 1.30. <laughs> Um, my mom was feeling a bit depressed during the winter months, so she tried the light box, and it seems to really help her. So, it's really just for mild or moderate depression, or not even moderate depression, more like what mild depression, um, or just feeling down and blue and kind of like unmotivated and stuff like that. So, um, and then I guess you know there are all sorts of different kinds of depression. Um, there's like postpartum depression, there's dysthymia, which is like not a major depressive episode, but still like um, feeling depressed for a long period of time. Not like really, really depressed, but depressed enough to that it's a problem. Um, and then there's the major depressive episode, there's depression with psychotic features. Um, Let's see, bipolar, which has an element of depression, or you could have rapid cycling bipolar, or there's so many different kinds of bipolar, and but just depression, there's like different types of depression too. 
So I'll try to find a link for the DSM-4 TR because um, it gives the criteria in there. But if you are feeling um, like suicidal, if you're having a change in appetite or um, sleeping a lot or sleeping not enough or um, if you're losing weight and not trying to and um, uh, just there are various um, signs and symptoms and just like if you feel that you're really you know sad all the time maybe you're crying or maybe you're not able to cry at all um, some people um, react to depression differently so in one person they may have one set of symptoms another person has another set of symptoms so um, if you're having if you feel that you might be depressed it's probably best if you go and get yourself checked out at least by your general practitioner they can start you on the road to getting checked out and a lot of times general practitioners will prescribe the antidepressants for people but I don't really recommend it I think you should probably um, well depression is best treated really with therapy and medications so it's like especially if you have like really really severe depression and you're like suicidal and just completely depressed out of your mind um, you'll want to get therapy and the medications most likely um, because they can really be a lifesaver um, I know that for years in addition to having the schizophrenia I had depressive symptoms and you know I couldn't get out of bed and I mean I was physically able to but I just like would lay in bed and be really depressed and just in agony for no reason and so I'm taking an antidepressant and it is like day and night. Oh, it's like so amazing. I'm like, I can't even tell you. <laughs> and it's not like I'm high, but um, it's just like feeling good and, um, yeah, just it's like day and night. So depression is like one of the most treatable mental illnesses out there. It's not, you can't cure it, but. Um, you know, you can get through it without medication. If you have a major de depressive episode, you will most likely eventually come out of it, but some people don't, and really it's best, I think, that you don't have to suffer through that depression and just get some medication and therapy for it if you can. So, um, or if it's a seasonal affective disorder, I would say either try medications or... Um, light therapy and there's also melatonin that some people try and SAMI which is like a supplement and what's the other one um oh I can't remember what it's called right now okay I found it what it was it's St. John's Wort um I actually tried that and it did work a little bit um but I was really just too depressed to um continue with that and so I I just quit taking it and it's and you should be careful if you're taking supplements too because they can um, you know like do things to you so you know they can if you're prone to be manic or something like that and you take St. John's Wort it could send you into a manic episode so Really, it's best to be supervised by a doctor or a naturopath or something if you want to go down the naturopath way. Um, so, yeah, um, I guess that's about it. And I'm running out of time here, so I guess I'll end this here. And thanks for watching. And if you have any questions about depression, I'm not a trained psychiatrist or a psychologist, but. I do know some things, so if you want to ask me anything, just go ahead and I'll try to refer you to the right sources. So I hope none of you are really depressed out there, though, and I hope you're having a good summer. And yeah, um, but if you're depressed, remember that it's the most treatable 
mental illness and there is treatment for it and you can get help. So, you know, hold on. Hang in there. <laughs> okay, bye.